Welcome to StaffPad. StaffPad is a music notation and composition environment designed for iPad and Windows tablets. It was built from the idea that writing music can be fluid, intuitive, and even effortless, and uses innovations like handwriting recognition, multi-touch, a powerful sample library-based playback engine, and wireless score sync technology for real-time updating and responsive scores displayed across multiple devices. It's an incredible app, and I can't wait to show it to you. So let's get started. In this video, I'll do a whirlwind tour of the app. We'll look at everything in more detail in future videos, but for now, let's just get a quick overview. StaffPad's interface was designed to be minimal and intuitive, but most of all, an inviting and beautiful place to work. So this dynamic background updates according to the weather and the time of day. So you'll see bright blues and yellows on a sunny day and dark greens and greys on a cloudy night. Straight away, I'm presented with my most recent scores with a live thumbnail preview. I can quickly share or print these scores without even having to open them first, right from the home screen. I can import music XML or MIDI files to bring over scores from other apps. And of course, later we can export them back as music XML or MIDI, should we wish. I can see all of my scores in the library, and I can sort these by composer or title, search through them, multi-select them, and even organize them further into collections, which are like tagged groups of scores. The store contains some incredible instruments from the world's best sample library developers. We have libraries from cine samples, orchestral tools, and Spitfire audio, and these huge libraries have all been re-engineered and reprogrammed from scratch specifically for StaffPad. You've already found the Discover tab if you're watching this, but do keep checking back here for updated content in the future. By the way, I can tap the StaffPad logo to bring up some more options, like restoring purchases or quickly accessing the online help. Okay, let's open a score. I'll tap one here to open it. Now the score page is deliberately minimal, but there's a lot of functionality here. At the top, we have the toolbar. The play commands are universal and always accessible. There's voice layers on the left for writing polyphonically on a single staff, followed by the markup or sketch layer, as it used to be called, and the lasso select control. On the right, we can toggle our new score sync feature, which instantly connects and displays the individual parts of a score on any reader apps found on the Wi-Fi network. You can also enable a metronome or click track and open the symbols palette. Finally, on the far right, we have Fenby, our cute little voice-activated composer assistant who'll do things like help you set up the score. Tapping the chevron on the far left will roll over the toolbar with more features. You can undo and redo, access the staff's control, show the playback automation layers, and toggle the transposing score mode on or off. On the right, we can access the version screen, share, export, or print the score, change the app settings, like enabling a count in or raising the overall level of the score with a master compressor and even changing the tuning pitch of concert A used for playback. You move around the score using touch and write using the pen, or since I'm on an iPad, the Apple Pencil. Erase by pushing down slightly harder with the pencil. I can write notes, ties, rests, slurs, accidentals, articulations, dynamics, hairpins, and even rhythm slashes. I can tap on a note to preview its pitch and drag it up or down to change its pitch. I can even drag the ends of slurs or the middle to change their curvature and drag hairpins to change their position. If I drag up and down on them, they change their direction. Double tap a bar to select it and then single tap to change the range. A command bar reveals itself and from here you can cut, copy, paste, insert or remove bars, transpose, or swap the voice layers around. Double tap again to deselect. You can also lasso select individual notes to flip their stems, or quickly clone stamp the selected notes into other areas of the score. Long pressing on the canvas shows a contextual menu, which changes its options depending on where you trigger it. This is how you add text, change the clef, key or time signatures, and so on. Once you scroll past the beginning of the score, you'll see a ghost staff appear on the left, which shows you which staff you're currently looking at. You can tap the instrument name, either at the start of the score or its short name on the ghost staff, to open the edit staff control. From here, you can adjust the staff's playback controls, 
choose whether it shows up in the printed score, toggle chord options, or rename it. Staffpad displays the score in a long, continuously scrolling infinity view. And something that's crucial to understand is that there are no manual page layout controls in Staffpad. This is intentional. It ensures that our score sync and reader technology can work together and lay out any score at any time on any device in any size, shape, zoom level, resolution, or orientation. This is only possible because the app has full control over the layout at all times, without any manual constraints being forced upon it. So that was a really quick, brief overview of Staffpad. Be sure to keep watching the rest of this series to dive into more detail on each of these features. For now, thanks for watching and enjoy writing music with Staffpad.